Hey, Chris Record here. Welcome to day nine of our 90 day ecom challenge. Today we're going to talk about Shopify copywriting strategies. We're going to basically talk about product titles, product descriptions. We're going to talk about what to do, what not to do. Let me go ahead and make this bigger for you. We're going to dive right into it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, here is what we are going to cover today. Okay, we're going to talk about. Let me put some bullet points up here like I normally do, and we're going to dive into it. What we're going to cover today, we're going to talk about what not to do when it comes to product titles and descriptions. Okay, We are going to look at some stores as examples of good and bad. Okay, We are going to talk about SEO titles versus, um, versus product titles. There's a big difference there, and a lot of people get confused. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to look at that. We're also going to um, look at the difference between uh, descriptions. So, um, you know, what should you put in the description to help sell? Um, how long should your product description be? Um, should you write long form product? descriptions on all your products and we're going to cover you know how to turn your basic product pages into high converting sales pages <clears throat> we're also going to take a look at additional apps you can use to help with conversions with your copy, okay? Plus, we are going to, you know, have some fun today with some real examples, okay? We're gonna actually have some fun. So, this is what we're gonna cover today. You guys can be joining us if you're watching live. We might be able to get a chance to do some interaction. Let's go here to the uh, 90 Day Challenge group. It looks like a lot of people are kind of starting to come in right now. Let's check real quick volume. Um, and also, if you guys ever wanna see notes, there's this post here in the 90 Day Ecom Challenge group where it's got the replays and notes. You can actually go in and all these notes that I'm typing, you can get access to them by going to notes.90dayecomchallenge.com. Okay? Notes.90dayecomchallenge.com. You can access all the notes there. Um, really cool stuff. So here we are live. Hundreds. Of, thanks, all, by the way, for everybody joining us on a Sunday afternoon. It's beautiful out. The Masters Tournament's on. And we still have a bunch of people joining us live. Obviously, thousands of people watch the replays. Thanks for joining us live. That makes a lot of difference, stuff like that. So looks like sounds great, visuals great. Um, let's dive right into this. Okay, so um, let's start off uh, with uh, let's start with importing products and product descriptions. Okay, and let's kind of dive into what that looks like. Okay, when you import products. From sites like AliExpress, they come with titles and descriptions already included that are put on your store. Okay, now here's the big thing don't use those product titles and descriptions. This is the most important thing. If you guys are following along, don't use the titles and descriptions that AliExpress gives you, okay? Do not use those, okay? We're gonna take a look at that first. We're gonna talk about why you do not use those, okay? But the main reason, I'll just let me just give you uh, like the methodology behind this, or just let's put common sense, common sense, okay? The vendors on AliExpress are writing titles that, that are stuffed with keywords so that you are likely to find their product when you are searching on their site, okay? They're stuffed. I mean, they're literally just, that's all the titles are. These stuffed keyword titles are not good for your store for many reasons, okay? We're gonna go through the reasons, okay? Let's go through, um, let's, put a, let's put a number list, okay? Number one, these stuffed keyword titles, okay? Number one, um, you know, Tons of other sellers will have the exact same titles 
because they are lazy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's really the main reason why. They're lazy, they don't wanna change it. So you're dealing with the fact that tons of other sellers are gonna have the exact same titles. You don't want that. You know, you don't want the same titles as everybody else, okay? Um, it's, uh, the, t the titles will make your store look very, um, I don't know, like, uh, you know, I hate to say it like in a negative way, but it's gonna make your store look very tacky, very unprofessional, schemy even, you know, like like it'll make your store look like uh, like a scam, okay? Because they just the titles just don't look good. It just won't look good at all, okay? Um, the titles will confuse your buyers because they won't make any sense at all. They won't make much sense, okay? Um, and the bottom line is that they are not supposed to be used. They aren't good titles, okay? So the bottom line is they're not even supposed to be used. The sellers, when you get a product on AliExpress, you're not supposed to use those titles. So let's go over here to AliExpress and let's go look at some titles for some products and let's go look at it. So if, you are, if, you're, if you're a Shopify seller and you wanna find products to sell, you're gonna search things. So the main way people are gonna find products on AliExpress is search. So all these wholesalers, they are trying to stuff their titles with keywords so that you'll find them, okay? So let's type in like horse pendant, okay? So this, this showed up right here because it's got the word horse pendant. See how it shows up in bold? Horse pendant, horse pendant, horse pendant. So that's what they're doing. They're basically bringing in a bunch of products that match horse pendant. So that's what these people, um, that's what all these titles are. These titles are all gonna be, you know, different stuff but let's look at this okay let's look at this type this right here is a product title on aliexpress okay h z e w i don't even know what that is okay zoo maybe maybe there's a term that i should know what it is but i don't know what that is now look at the keyword stuffing christmas that's a keyword what does this have to do with christmas absolutely nothing but aliexpress basically dumps it in there in case you're looking for a christmas gift birthday this has nothing to do with the birthday birthday gift hollow heart horse pendant necklaces, silver plated horse and heart necklace. This is a product title, but AliExpress is not, you're, they're writing this title for you to find it by search. They're not writing this title for you to use. So number one most important thing is when you're on here, you're not supposed to be using these, uh, these titles, okay? Let's do the same thing, let's get pit bull pendant, okay? Let's just click on the first one, okay? 316L, stainless steel, pit bull pendant, pendant necklace, free shipping. That title's actually not that bad. Um, there's compared to most, okay? Like, look at this one, keyword stuffing. Pit bull jewelry, custom dog pendant necklace, dog jewelry, Christmas, personalized pets, puppy gifts. This is just keyword stuffing, okay? So a lot of these places are doing what's called keyword stuffing. So you do not want to do this. This, this does not work, it's very, um, it's very kind of like a, a schemey way to try to rank when people are searching for stuff. But people are not gonna find your site by searching for stuff like that, okay? So there's, you're gonna take a title like this. Okay, let's put this in the notes, okay? Um, for example, here is a common type of product title on AliExpress, okay? And let's look at it. Boom, Pitbull jewelry, custom dog pendant necklace, dog jewelry, Christmas personalized pets, puppy gifts, okay? That is closer to an SEO title, not a product title. The purpose of a title like this is to, is, is to rank in AliExpress search results so that wholesalers like you can find the product easily. Okay, so um, that's the main reason. So that's not what you're looking to do. Now, your store should have two types of titles for each product that you upload, okay? And these are gonna be the two types of titles you want. One is gonna be product title, what your customers see on the page, on the product page, okay? Um, and then the second one is gonna be SEO title, what um, what people see when they search for products 
in Google. Okay, those are your two, and I say Google, obviously, search engines. Those are your two different types of titles you're gonna want for each product that you upload. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna look at those titles and we're gonna kinda look and see some examples of what we can do for those. But first, let's make sure we get this AliExpress thing out of the way. Make sure, if you are watching this right now, make sure you do not use these same titles. So, if, you are in, if you're adding products either manually or you're using a tool like a Chrome extension or you're using um, you know, an app like Oberlo or Shopify app or any of these things, it's gonna import over the title. You need to change this, okay? You need to change this and you need to get a good title. We're gonna come back. I'll leave this window up. We're gonna come back and we're gonna look at these. Okay, now in another one of our 90-day uh, challenge videos, we looked at a bunch of sites. This is one that I just had up um, from the last, from one of my previous uh, presentations I did, Flava Gear. So when you look at this, this is a, a basically a site. Let's look at their, here's a bunch of products they have. Let's look at their titles. Okay, let's just go through and look at them. You can see when you hover the mouse over, right? This one is DIY Guitar Plectrum Punch Cutter. Okay, do it yourself, Guitar Plectrum Punch Cutter. Okay, this one here is Blackhead and Comedone Acne Extractor. Okay, this one here is links to, links two Bluetooth speakers together. So all of these have like pretty basic cartoon style 2D bags, okay? So I think that's what we were looking at before. So here's a cartoon, cartoon style 2D bag. Okay, messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack. Okay, cartoon style 2D bags. This right here is a better example of a title. So let's go to AliExpress and let's type in 2D bags. And you look and see like the same bag is like right here, right? Okay, let's copy that title and let's go back to the document. Let's use this, let's use this title instead, right? Here's a common title. Let's use this one instead of the Pitbull one because we'll actually change, we'll actually show. Um, that is closer to an SEO title. So look at this. Aris Land 2017 Fashion Woman Bags 2D Cartoon Bag Messenger Shoulder Crossbody Bag Ladies Bolsa Feminina Bolsosta Ombro 3D Handbag. So you see that that's an SEO stuffed title, okay, which is not even good if you're going to do an SEO title. But let's look at this, okay. Um, here is an example of a good product title for that product okay and now let's use the actual one that's on the store okay here we go cartoon style 2d bags boom cartoon style 2d bags okay <clears throat> it's just much better do you see how that product title is far better than the one stuffed with keywords okay so the main, um, the main thing you want with a product title is a very clear description of what the product is. Use brevity, and if you don't know what brevity is, it's just like shorter. Shorter titles that are more professional will convert more sales on the page, okay? There's not a lot of thinking. Cartoon style 2D bags, okay? It's very, very simple. <clears throat> Cartoon style 2D bags. What they did was they took a very brief description of what it is, and that's the name of their products. So you wanna do something short and simple and straight to the point with your product, with your product name, okay? Now, <clears throat> that doesn't necessarily mean that that's gonna be the SEO name for this product, okay? The SEO name is gonna maybe be something something, who knows, it might be, it might not be. Uh, let's see, Flava Gear. I can actually look and see what, what their SEO name is right now. Go to Google, whoops, I just was there. Um, site, flavagear.com, we'll just do 2D. Okay, that is, they're using, they're using the same cartoon style 2D bags, they're using the same exact one. Um, let's say, uh, let's go back to his title, cartoon, he says far better. Um, this site, uh, sorry, this store is using the same product title as their SEO product title, which will convert less. Okay, unless their product title is the exact search they want to rank for. Okay, if they want to rank 
for this term right here, for that product title, cartoon style 2D bags, then that's a good cartoon style 2D bags. Let's go down, let's see if they're ranking. They're not, not ranking anywhere. Boom, there they are. So they're in the top 10. If you search cartoon style 2D bags, but the reality is, is that people probably aren't searching that, right? So that's so that's the issue. Let me let me throw up let me throw up this uh, this page right here, in the document. Okay, put that link. Cartoon style two D bags. Um, in this example, people probably aren't searching um, as much for that term. However, they might be searching for terms like cartoon bags, cartoon handbags, 2D bags, 2D handbags, 2D backpacks, you know, and you can actually, you can actually look at this, let's go um, messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack, that's more words I would use. Um, so I'll go like messenger bag, backpack. Why is it called? I used to I used to be a top advertiser on Backpage, and I think it's a for my real estate business. I think it's a habit to keep typing that in. Cartoon style, two D two D bags, messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack. So messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack. Messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack. What I would do is I would actually. Do something like this. Messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack. So what I would do is I would take these three terms here of the three different types there are and I would come up with a few different ways to do it. I would do it like 2D like that. 2D messenger bag, 2D shoulder bag, 2D backpack. And then I would do um, cartoon style. Cartoon style. Cartoon style. Cartoon style. And then maybe I do another one that's just like, um, you know, maybe just those three for now. Okay, so what they could do, it's a little bit better, it'd be 2D, they, they could really target these with uh, SEO. 2D messenger bag, 2D shoulder bag, 2D backpack, two, cartoon style messenger bag, cartoon style shoulder bag. And they could even put in the 2D now because they're still hitting the terms. So this is an example of how you wanna look at your product. You wanna look at what options it has and I don't know if these, that these are good names of the styles unless people, unless people are searching for those. I don't know, I'm not into women's fashion, so I don't know if those are <clears throat> going, but shoulder bag backpack. So, you know, here, here it shows like these different backpacks. And I would maybe wanna look and see like what other people are, are calling these things. I'd wanna look for some more stuff in here, 2D backpack features. You know, go look for some more words. Messenger bag, shoulder bag, backpack, apparel, Okay, then you might even wanna do more than like, you might even wanna look at some more words that would illustrate what these bags are. Purses, for example. Women might, might wanna use it as a purse. So I'd probably add that one there. I'd probably add 2D purses, backpacks, shoulder bags, messenger bags. And then I'd probably do like cartoon style 2D purse. Okay, so now I've got purse, backpack, shoulder bag, messenger bag, and I might even, you know, I might even look for some more. This is how you want to think of your titles. You want to think of your titles like this. Um, so and so instead of just, you know, you've, you've, you've got individual things. Now, depending on how much time you have, what this site is doing here is they are selling one product, okay, that has what's called variants. A variant is they have a messenger, ver a variant is like, an option. You could get the messenger option, the shoulder bag option, or the backpack option. So they have like the three different variants. And then inside of this, they also have these variants. You could get the Bender style, you could get the Stewie style, the Morty style, or the Marge style, okay? So you can kind of get like the different styles. Okay, these are variants. What, if, 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 if time is limited, then you can make one post like this, and you could do, um, and let them choose variants. Now, there's also the option of splitting this into multiple products, okay? For example, if this, if this product, if they clearly had like a women's version and a men's version, you would probably want to split it into two products. You'd probably wanna do like men's cartoon style backpack. 
or women's cartoon style shoulder bag. So now you've got the ability to be able to get a better title. Women's cartoon style shoulder bag. Men's cartoon style backpack. Um, or two, you can throw the word 2D in there. Men's cartoon style 2D. So that allows you to basically go in here and kind of go like women's cartoon style 2D purse. Men's cartoon style 2D backpack or whatever. Women's cartoon style 2D backpack. So you can basically come up with names and variants that way too. So you're looking for something very descriptive that uses keywords in it. You're looking to come up with something like that. This is kind of the methodology behind it. We're just using this product. It's the same kind of thing though if you go and if you use any other product like this Pitbull jewelry, you're looking for what is the best description of this. You know, you're in, and a lot of times you might need to like look, it, look in and try to find, you know, some, some stuff like this. Like it's a chain necklace. It's got a, um, you know, it's got a Pitbull on it. You know, if you're, if you're putting this as a product title, you know, you want to like think like what, what might you call that? You might call it like um, a pit bull, you know, a uh, pit bull pendant chain necklace. Pit bull pendant chain necklace. So that would be like a better title. So like something like this. Let me kind of put this down. Okay. For example, you might want to change a title like this to be a title like this to be to 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 say pitbull pendant chain necklace okay and then and if it has another feature that is worth including in the title, then include it, okay? Such as maybe it's, uh, you know, stainless steel uh, or 24 karat gold or something that would add value to the title, okay? Um, so that's kind of what you're always looking for, um, in which case it could be um, pitbull pendant stainless steel necklace as an example. These direct shorter product titles are more familiar for customers. Okay, so these are just examples. I'm not saying this is how, I'm not giving you a naming methodology. You're going to want to get creative. Okay. So that's how you do it though. You don't need dog, jewelry, Christmas, personalized pets. Now, what if you want to include those other words in your title? The solution is to create more products and that way you can use more titles. Such as, you know, um, I might say like best selling <clears throat> pitbull Christmas gift necklace of 2017, okay? Best selling Christmas gift for pitbull owners. Pitbull Something like that. Pitbull pendant necklace. Best selling Christmas gift for Pitbull owners 2017. Pitbull pendant necklace. You could do like a hyped up title. So this kind of a hyped up title can be used either during the holidays and then you change it after or you can always upload it as a new product and keep that title year round. Now, there's another option. Another option is to write a blog post on your Shopify store with these titles to highlight 
things like birthday gifts, holiday gifts, best gifts for that niche, ETC, and then link to several products on your store. For example, top 10 gifts for Pitbull owners. Okay, so for example, top 10 gifts for pit, pit bull owners in 2017. Top 10 gifts to give pit bull owners in 2017. And then one, feature product title, product image, short description, and link to product. And then two, same thing. And I'll say top five. This is another way to, you know, create a blog post on your store that you can advertise to people in that demographic, people in that audience, such as, you know, um, engagement, birthday, upcoming birthday, and so on, okay? Um, or you can just, you can adjust the title on the specific product you are marketing. Okay, again, let me kind of jump back and forth here. So an example is right here, they have cartoon style 2D bags, right? Cartoon style 2D bags. Um, you know, they might want to, uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna inspect the page. Don't worry about the code I'm doing right now. There's nothing you guys need to do. I'm just gonna do it to show you, you know. Um, you know, uh, hottest uh, trend, hottest fashion trend of 2017. Okay, so you could do something like this to the title. Cartoon style 2D bags, hottest fashion trend of 2017. You could add an element like that. As long as their title is very, very straightforward, you can add an element like something like this that basically adds a little bit more sales hype to it as long as you're not getting out of control. And these are better than keywords. See, you're not that worried about keywords. You're not that worried about stuffing keywords. You're more worried about a visitor lands on this page and when they land on this page, what they see, it's, they've gotta be able to see something very, very quickly. So you might be able to use something here or maybe you put like um, only 10 left in stock or something like that. You can, there's, there's little things you could do like that to try to drive some urgency. So when you're coming up with titles, the basics of where we're at so far is don't use the titles from AliExpress, shorten them, and then if you want, maybe put something that you think can help sell it. That's the main thing that you're looking to get away with these product titles. Now, I like to look at other sites to kind of see what other sites are doing for titles. So I like to go to sites like this that have already taken the time and I love going and just go and seeing what their titles are wireless Bluetooth light bulb speaker, okay? Do-it-yourself guitar plectrum punch cutter, okay? So you just kind of look at these, okay? Like blackhead and comedone acne extractor. So see, it's a very simple, straightforward title. It says exactly what it is, right? Blackhead and comedone acne extractor. So let's go over here to, um, to AliExpress and let's see if we can find something similar. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, Let's see, it looks like, let me see what it looks like really quick. Okay, it's got like, it's got like this little bladed kind of thing right here with the little hooks on it. Okay, so let me see if I can find the same one. Bladed with the little hooks, this looks good enough. Okay, another product example. So here we go, um, just like this. Okay, here is another product title example from AliExpress. Okay. And here is an example of a Shopify store that has retitled it with a better title. Let's drop the link. And then let's drop the title. Okay, so you see the difference? Look at the difference. Brainbow, acne, needle, tweezers, blackhead, pimples, removal, pointed, bend, give, head, face, care, tools, blackhead, comedone, acne extractor. But then look at this, blackhead and comedone, acne extractor. So what they do is they basically get straight to it. It looks cleaner, it looks more professional, 
Okay, this is, these are the kind of titles that you're look. These are the titles that you want to use on your site. Okay, so here here's an example, right? They basically broke it down. They're trying to find something that fits nice and, and explains what it is. Okay, they're going to have you know a video that explains what it is and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so on titles, that's kind of what you're doing. You're kind of looking. Where you're going to go find, go find a couple of sites. Do some searching. If you've gone this far in our in our uh, training, you already know. Um, do some searching and find some sites that essentially have like all of this. Um, you know, find some sites that have great titles and then model after them. Okay, that's kind of what you're trying to do here. So we don't need to go that much more on those kind of titles. Okay, but that's we'll come back to SEO titles a little bit later. But that's what you're doing for <clears throat> these are <clears throat> this. Whoops. No, I'll get that one. This is the strategy of good product titles that will help convert. Okay. Now, let's talk about product descriptions. Okay. Product descriptions. Okay. Now let's talk about product descriptions. Let me make this red so it stands out a little bit more. Okay. Um, Again, if you import from AliExpress, they will give you a default product description. The product description acts as your sales copy on the page. So let's look at some examples of sales copy and um, from other industries so that you can understand the process of effectively converting a visitor into a buyer, okay? So um, let's go into some things right here. Let's go into some ideas here. Okay, first, um, long form versus short form. Should your product descriptions be short or long? Okay. And then here's the here's the answers. Short if the product is self-explanatory, such as a t-shirt. Okay? A t-shirt doesn't, nobody needs to be sold on a t-shirt. In which case you just focus on the things. The customer needs to know, okay? Such as what sizes are available, what colors are available, um, was it made in the USA, you know, things like that. Um, uh, any other helpful details to help sell it, okay? But that's just like, Short now long if the product is unique and needs explanation. Okay, so focus on persuasion techniques. What would uh, knock the customer off the fence? Okay, what are the key features, benefits of the product? Okay, um, what problems does this product solve? Who is a good fit for this product? Okay, and so on. Write, uh, write it up like a long sales letter. Okay, let's look at some examples. Okay, let's, let's just go and let's look at, let's just search like some, let's go in some products and let's search. Um, I'll give you an example, one of my own, for example. I don't know if it's even still up. 8K per day. Okay, we'll look at like one of my own. Perfect, we'll look at this one. Okay. Okay. This is a course that I launched a couple of years ago that uses a long form sales message to tell my story and explain the problems 
and solutions that my course can provide. This product sold extremely well. Now, this example is too long, too long for a product description, but it contains good info, okay? So let's look at it. 8K per day affiliate hack. So imagine this is the product, okay? This is called a hard hitting, uh, this, is, this is like um, a sub headline. This is a hard hitting headline, a hard hitting headline. So you, you're using big, bold statements, okay? Um, the ultimate affiliate, affiliate marketing course for beginners, okay? Um, this is like, what is this? What is it? The ultimate affiliate marketing course for beginners. So this basically says, if you're a beginner, and you're looking for information on affiliate marketing, this is it. So I'm targeting, I'm, very, I'm being very clear about who it's for. So let's look at some of the, um, let's look at some of the uh, details here, okay? I'm very clear about who this is for. Beginners plus affiliate marketing, okay? Let's, let's look a little bit further. Next one, how I went from a negative bank account to having 8K days plus per days online in hope to inspire you and teach you techniques. I had a negative bank account, a 45 credit score, and got evicted from my little 800 square foot apartment. Then in 12 short months, <clears throat> then 12 short months later, I had made 485,000 in commissions and over 150,000 in a single month. So um, I've got a powerful headlines, um, uh, powerful headlines. This is like a uh, shocking shock factor plus makes you want to read what's next, okay? Um, and I also give the hint of a problem solution scenario that I'm about to solve. Okay, again, it's different. I'm just giving you the basics right here. Then I go in and I personalize this. Hey, I'm a lot like you. I was always motivated to make money, but I used my... Uh, Used to let my fear and lack of knowledge hold me back. I'd buy program after program. Okay, so next I start relating to people with the problems they are facing. So next I start relating to, let's say, to my audience with the problems they are facing. This is the setup for the solution, right? I tried this, I tried this, I kept going, as unrealistic as it sounded, and then I found the solution. Then one, then one afternoon, everything changed, right? So now I'm starting to position the, the solution. Why is this? I'm writing all this copy and I'm kind of going and telling my story. And believe it or not, even though it's long, people get in and they start, they start learning about this, right? So then I start going into the solution, okay? So next, I start sharing the solution, what they can do to overcome the problem. Okay, then I go in and I start going and I start giving people ideas, 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 okay. Which sets up the need for my course, which will teach them how, okay? That's the main thing. So now it's like, hey, introducing my course, why did I create this program, okay? Because I'm gonna help you guys with this. And then I go, then there's some proof. Then I show product proof, examples of results. Okay, so I show, show product proof right there, um, all the results that I'm getting, and then I go into product details. What exactly do they get when they purchase? Okay, keep going down. Here's all this, and then this is where I'm value stacking. Value stacking, showing so much value that it has a high, let, let, me, let, me, let me rewrite that so it's kind of my value stacking is where I'm building up the perceived value to a very high amount, okay? I'm building up this perceived value. Oh my God, there's so much stuff here. Look at all this. This is crazy. This is all this. Oh my God, this is crazy. Then more results. And then what I'm doing is I'm using urgency and scarcity. So then what I do is I use urgency and scarcity, okay? Urgency is um, I give them a reason to act fast. Um, and then scarcity is there is a limited 
amount of time, uh, a limited amount of something. So it could be time, could be something else. A limited amount of something could be time, stock, EDC, so act fast. Okay, so urgency and scarcity are all about acting fast, right? Um, and so what I do is I basically come in here, I hit it with some urgency and scarcity. Um, early bird pricing is going to end soon. Grab this course, we're on, but we're only open for a limited time. Um, and then there's a 30 day no questions back guarantee. So what I'm doing right there is then I guarantee, I basically, um, uh, you know, if, if I can eliminate their fear with a guarantee, it's worth it, okay? Because I'll get more sales, okay? And then over here, get instant access to this course. It's no longer available. It's been a while, okay? So I no longer am selling that course, but that was just an example. So what I'm going to say is this, okay? Use, maybe I should have that link going somewhere. I just clicked it and didn't even work. I should actually, because they're probably getting traffic from it. Use, um, let's say, learn from that page um, for some copywriting basics but don't use that same style for Shopify. Instead, let's condense it and look at some examples of good Shopify descriptions, okay? So, let's look at, so we've already got this site here, we might as well start with this, okay? So this page right here, let's look, let's look at some of the elements here, so let's look, uh, Example, since this one's already up, let's look at this one, okay? And let's see what this page is doing. Um, let's see what they have here. So they have social proof, 389 claimed, okay? So watch this. Social proof, 389 claimed. Showing many others have already done this. Makes you feel safe about it. Okay, next, hurry, sale ending soon. Okay, so they have urgency. Hurry, sale ending soon. Okay, let's keep going. Then they have a countdown timer. A countdown timer um, gives you a reason to act fast before the timer expires, okay? It's just, it's just, this is just psychology of, se of selling. If there's a timer, people will act, will act quickly. Then what they do is they basically have a, a, a bulk discount. So they have like discount. If you buy more than one, you can get savings. And this increases average order value. Okay, so this, this helps to be able to get people to click a higher quantity. Credit card logos. Credit card logos is kind of like, um, it's kind of like, again, it's kind of like confidence builder shows that you accept multiple payment methods. Okay, so it's kind of like a little confidence shows you accept multiple payments. Okay, next, not sold in stores. Okay, limit, so this is scarcity. Scarcity, not sold in stores, okay, what else do they have here? Um, limited time offer, 50% off, okay? Again, urgency, limited time offer, 50% off retail price, because that makes it look like it could go back up at any moment. Free worldwide shipping, okay? Um, and so that's kind of like, uh, what's the word for that? That's kind of like where you're, um, Driving them with a, um, shoot, I'm forgetting, but let's just call it incentive. Free worldwide shipping on the product. Okay, there's exact word for it, but it's kind of like you're giving them an incentive right now, okay? Video. Okay, so you got a video. Video. Product info to help sell the product through a more detailed visual display. This helps out a lot. If you, have a good, if you have a good video of the product in action, that can help out a lot. Now, all of that is before we even got into the product description. So that's even before we got into the content 
Uh, that's before we even get into the product description. So they, this, this site understands all of this stuff here comes, and, and including pictures, all comes before they are even doing the product description. Okay, now when they're getting in the product description, let's look at this. Okay, um, let's write it down. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, um, product description. If bad skin makes you feel embarrassed or unattractive, this blackhead and acne ex extractor is the answer to your uh, to your prayers. So this is uh, you know first thing there. It's like it's like basically problem and solution. So. You're basically explaining the problem. Bad skin makes you feel embarrassed and unattractive. So now you're relating to somebody with the problem they're facing. Why is it that somebody wants this product in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be able to come up with a reason why somebody even needs something. And so you're looking for, you're looking for what are some words you can explain to relate to somebody as to why there's a need for your product. Okay, if bad skin makes you feel embarrassed or unattractive. Product description, I'll say, instead of notes, I'll say, I go, I cover this in detail in the video, not notes, okay? So I'll put that right there so that, so that it's clear. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead, instead of like putting notes on each one of these. If bad skin makes you feel embarrassed, look at that, embarrassed or unattractive. Those right there are bad skin. This is a good headline right there for problem and relatability, man. This blackhead and acne extractor is the answer to your prayers, okay? Answer to your prayers is, so, is, is getting you, is showing you there's a solution. And then this right here is telling you exactly what is the solution. So problem makes you feel this way and feels this way. Fortunately, this product is going to solve this for you. So it's a nice, short, concise sentence. So use this as kind of a model where you can kind of say, hey, there's a problem, and fortunately there's a solution. We've got a solution for you, okay? It's good, on your opening statement like this, it's good to identify the problem, okay? Let's go down. Voted best blackhead remover on the market, okay? This part right here is basically social proof, okay? Saying something's the best, or saying something's the number one, or saying something is the leading item, or saying something is, um, Maybe even, maybe even if, 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 if that product was mentioned in a magazine, you might even like put like Huffington Post, um, you know, as seen on Huffington Post, as seen on, you know, as seen in New York Times, as featured on Fox News or whatever, you know, you're, you're, you're basically telling your customer, you're telling your visitors that, hey, there's some social proof here, that this product is being represented in, in, by lots of people. Now, they don't even say who. It just says voted best blackhead remover on the market. Now, their grandma might have voted it the best product. We don't know who, but they're, they're still using this social proof that somebody, somebody somewhere has voted this the best product on the market. And then scientifically proven. Okay, that's another, that's another thing. Scientifically proven to, is, is a good use of words because now people love to hear things that are, that are, okay, science, okay, logic. This is like, okay, it makes you feel comfortable. Like, wow, this is really something out there. So fast, safe, and effective. They're using, now these are just nice little buzzwords that make you feel good about the product. Okay, now let's talk about, uh, now what they're doing here with this sentence here is they're talking about the competition. Beware, all, they're basically trying to say all other products could be bad for you. Beware, other tools can be painful. Other tools can carry an infection. Other tools can cause permanent scarring. So they're basically setting, now what they're doing is they're setting themselves apart from all of these other uh, tools. They're setting themselves apart from everything. Okay, this is really good. Uh, talk about why your product is better than the competition, okay? Next, the blackhead and acne extractor is made from 100% uh, dermatologist graded surgical steel. Okay, what you're doing is you're taking a product feature that makes something good. For example, maybe you're selling a print on demand item, okay, but maybe that item is made in the United States. Okay, so you could basically say this, this, uh, this t-shirt is 100%, you know, um, made, uh, printed, and shipped from the United States because that'll make people feel a little bit better about that. Or you can, or you can explain why maybe like you're not using the cheapest brand of whatever it is. Say, yes, there's cheaper brands of t-shirts on the market, but they often shrink 
when you um, put them in the washer and the dryer or they end up falling apart or you know you relate to people are you tired that after you after you wash your clothes two or three times they no longer fit you well that's why we've chosen this brand of clothing because you know it, it's it's you know 93% of people say that it that it fits well after washes or whatever it is you're finding a feature about your product that is worth highlighting, taking the time to actually write out, a, write out a little bullet point here about why, and then they're even putting it in bold. Okay, this product is made from 100% dermatologist graded surgical steel. Look, look what else they got here. Safe sterilization, okay, prevents corrosion, and it minimizes risk. So right now, they're basically, they're basically uh, risk of infections. So what they're doing is they're basically pointing out the benefits of this product. Now, not sold in stores. Again, they're going urgent again, okay? Or, or sorry, scarcity. This is not sold in stores because if you, the moment you think that you might be able to find this at the mall or the moment you think, uh, the moment you start your mind drifts and goes, oh, you know what? I'm, I could probably find this on Amazon or I could probably find this on the mall. You're immediately going to um, leave. You're immediately going to leave. So think about if this was like a car dealership and you're driving by a car dealership and you see a car you like you drive onto the car dealership. That car salesman, man or woman, has to convince you that you've gotta buy that car right then, right there. The moment you think you could go to another dealership and buy that car, or you could come back tomorrow and buy that car, or there's always gonna be a car like that, the moment you think that, you lose your urgency and scarcity, and you'll, you'll likely walk off and you won't buy a car. So the, that car salesperson has to really personalize that experience to you and give you that's why they're gonna tell you there's some special offer going on that day. There's always some special offer. There's always some deal. There's always some promo. Maybe that car, there's something original about it. You're never gonna find a deal like this because it's priced this way and look at how low the miles is and it's only had one owner and they're trying to find ways to do it. You have to think that way when you're selling your own products as well. Okay, you're, you're, really, you're, you're using a model like this to start to look at some of these benefits. Okay, we just got down to the not sold in start stores part. Okay. Now let's go, let's go uh, even further and they're actually gonna give some bullet points of what it does, okay? So let's look here and they're gonna actually give some bullet points. Um, it squeezes out blackheads in seconds. It removes dirt and oil that causes acne. It's easy to clean, simple and quick to use, shrinks visible pores, improves skin tone for a smooth glowing complexion. Now, they put, notice how far these do are down on the page. You, a lot of you are leading with stuff like, a lot of you are starting right here on the top. Okay, here's what it does, and, just, and here's the product description to buy it, okay? Um, and then this right here, product description, is just basically giving you, um, you know, material, gives you the, the size and the material. This essentially is just like getting those details out of the way. These are like, there's going to be, you know, 1% of visitors that want to know the exact size of it for reference, or they want to know the you know what it's made of or little details like that. Okay, is it where where is it available to ship? Roughly how long till it comes? Is it guaranteed? You know certain things like that. Notice they put these at the end. So if you look at this, let's look at what they have here. They basically have all of this stuff up here is the most important copywriting. Above, look what they have here. Above the fold is all of this, you have to scroll down and you're still seeing pictures and still stuff like that. You don't even, and then, and then all their first um, part of their description, it's all really selling you on, you know, it's selling you on problem solutions. Then they get into the details. Now, underneath, they get even more details. So watch this. Then they go into um, testimonials or reviews. And what they do here is um, for testimonials and reviews, they're basically, um, they're essentially using a, a, a Facebook comments screenshot. Show that customers are excited and this is more social proof, okay? And then underneath that, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Okay, they have money back guarantee and let's put that there we ensure your 100 percent satisfaction with our 30-day money back guarantee if for any reason you're not happy with the product simply return it for a full refund your purchase and safe and protected with us now this can get harder um, if you guys are doing 
refunds, it gets a little bit harder to do that when you're dealing with drop shipping. In order to offer a 30 day money back guarantee, you might wanna get in a position where you are bulk ordering the product from China to your home or your office or, or your own warehouse or to a service you're using so that you can facilitate refunds a lot easier. It's a lot harder to facilitate refunds when you're using a drop shipper because that person, essentially you're responsible for it, okay? So because you're responsible for it, you really, um, most, most sellers will avoid money back guarantees when using drop shipping products, but they will put them on when they start shipping products themselves. So like, for example, take this product. This is just a, t all of this is just a tiny little product. This thing's tiny. You can bulk order these. Let's see how much they, let's see how much these things cost. Just this one right here. Okay. So they have three different colors, um, whatever. Okay. And just from this one seller and they're $1.68 a piece. Okay. You can probably even get, um, you know, you can, you can get even a, a better bulk price. So you can contact them and you can find out like what kind of bulk price. And you might want to order like a thousand of these. Okay. You can order a thousand of these and probably for about a thousand dollars, my guess. So if I had to guess, um, um, if I had to guess now, i will say, uh, note, if you are offering guarantee on your store to increase conversions and you could just put obviously it will help increase conversions you probably want to be handling the shipping and fulfillment yourself instead of using drop shippers overseas okay um, that's probably a good, uh, a, a good basic, you know, concept there. Um, for example, the acne, what is this thing called? It's called the, uh, um, acne, whatever this thing, let's see, blackhead, for example, the black, the acne extractor, for example, the acne extractor product, you could probably buy, um, 1000 of them for roughly a for roughly one dollar each from a vendor in China, have them shipped to your house, and then ship them out directly to customers in the United States uh, with two days shipping available. If that's the case, then you might want to add a guarantee to your product to see if it can you know boost sales conversions if a customer returns the product okay if a customer returns the product is important then you have the product available um, to sell again but you need to be specific in the, um, you need to be specific in the refund terms, okay? Now, in this case, it's an acne tool, which if used, you likely would not sell again. So you need to factor in refunds into your price in order to put a cushion in the markup so that you can offer refunds. For example, this product might cost you $1. So marking it up to $15 for sale gives you plenty of room to allow for even 5% refunds, which is super high and still be profitable on that product. So if a refund guarantee can help convert more sales, and if you know that it's a hassle for customers to send back the product, then your refund rate will likely be very low.
usually less than, say often, often less than 1%, which makes you still very profitable. This is why a refund guarantee works so well. Okay. Now, again, so my advice is, uh, advice, if you are using drop shippers, don't offer a guarantee like that. Advice, if you are shipping yourself, then you can offer a guarantee if it fits the product. Okay, that's how guarantees work. That's, that's the basics of that. Now, um, uh, if, you, if you look at their site, they might basically have like something lined up in their refund policy that you can actually review as well. Our policy lasts 30 days. If 30 days have gone by since your purchase, we can't offer you a refund. To be eligible for refund, your item must be unused. So see what they're doing here? They must be unused, okay? And it must be, in the, so let's put that in there. Um, in this case, if it's an acne tool, which is used, do not likely to sell again. The vendor in the example says that only products that are unopened can be returned so they avoid this issue. Here is what they wrote. Okay? Now, this allows them to use drop shippers and offer a guarantee. Okay? So as long as you're very, very clear about it. But the thing that I don't like about this, which is why I have advice, the thing that I don't like about it is the wording on, the wording on this guarantee here. I don't like this wording here. We ensure your 100% satisfaction with our 30-day money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not happy with our product, simply return it. Well, how can they be happy with the product without using it, right? So um, I would put, if you're going to put this on your copywriting, I would put like a little link right here that just goes to your refund policy. That's all I would do and have it open in a new, have it open in a new tab, refund policy. And what it would do is it would link to your refund page right here, okay? And just have that open in a new, in a new tab. That's what I would do, okay? Now look what they say. They're gonna accept refunds if it's faulty. Um, and it kind of goes into, you know, explains printed items, you know, this kind of stuff. We do not accept products, blah, 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 blah. To send your purchase back to manufacturers. They got all these details. So that's an example though. It's a lot of information right there about how, what, you know, um, and I'll just put this last piece of advice. Advice, um, if you don't offer a guarantee, uh, if you're using drop shipper, sh shippers, uh, sorry, if you're using drop shippers, your guarantee needs to be clear that the product must be in its original packaging and unopened in order to qualify so you can sell it again. And that's the only way that a refund, um, if you're shipping yourself, then you can offer a guarantee if it fits the product. Advice, um, when possible, offer guarantees to help convert more sales. Okay? Um, so there you go, like, um, you, know, you know, are guarantees risky? Yes, if you end up using a vendor vendor that does a really bad job, you might have a lot of unhappy customers and might get flooded with refunds. So be clear in your refund description up front about what they have to do to qualify for a refund, okay? So it can be it can be risky, okay? But the risk is generally worth it. Um, having a refund policy gives confidence to a skeptical buyer so they can just buy it and not worry because they can always return it, okay?
So that's the, that's the refund policy. That's understanding copywriting there, understanding how to be able to do that. Now, there's more on this page that's happening, okay? Let's, let's look at some more on the page. Underneath, they have reviews. So let's go up here, back to where we were, money back guarantee, and let's go here and let's do um, reviews. They are using an app to allow customers to review the product. These reviews offer social proof similar to Yelp or any other review site. When a potential customer sees that other customers were satisfied, it will help with conversions, okay? That's the general idea of reviews. They're using a review app, if you notice there, to be able to start to do that, okay? Um, this is really not as much. That's just a bundle thing, not as big. Related items, not as big. Nothing else is big there, but this is big, okay? So what they have is they have basically um, other customers purchase this. Now, this, I'm not gonna include this right now in the page because this is often taking you away to another product. So it doesn't necessarily help convert sales of the product you're on, but it does help convert sales of other products. It helps drive you over to another product. But we've really covered a lot of this. So, um, you know, let me put uh, main takeaways. Okay, let's put some main takeaways. When writing up a title and description for your product, focus more on clean titles that are descriptive and then tons of urgency, scarcity building um, elements, and then a longer form description that identifies with the audience and shows how your product solves their problem, then gives social proof, um, so it shows how, shows how your product solves their problem, then gives social proof um, to help them build confidence to purchase, or enough confidence, to help them build up enough confidence to purchase, okay? That's kind of the main, the main kind of takeaways there of, I'll put it in red so you can easily find that. The main takeaways right there is what you're looking for. Okay, and we kind of go and do um, refunds and stuff like that. Okay, now let's go into SEO titles are different than product titles. Okay, SEO titles versus product titles. Okay, um, product title, customer sees this on the page. SEO title, Google, uh, what customer sees this when searching on Google. Okay, I think I wrote that up above, but we're gonna come back, we're gonna focus on this. So a product title versus an SEO title um, is a way to be able to do it. Let me log into a site. So we can kind of go into this bougie boutique site. Let's go into products. Let's go into a Shopify um, site here. Go into products. Okay, let's go in and let's look at some, let's look at like an SEO title versus, let me see if there's a good product I can use here. Um, okay, let's just try this one maybe. Okay, so, um, oh, by the way, even on something like this, guaranteed safe checkout, um, you know, let me put this actually in there as well for copywriting. Let me go up here, because these are more examples. You know, okay. More examples of words to use could include stuff like this right here. Guaranteed safe checkout, Visa, MasterCard, click add to cart to order yours now. Please allow up to three to five weeks for delivery due to high demand. This item ships for International Warehouse. If you're doing drop shipping, one of the things that's most difficult is customer expectation. If a customer buys a product, they're used to it coming from you know, Amazon or whatever in just a couple days. So it's not a bad idea to put that at the bottom of your description on the page. Please allow up to three to five weeks for delivery due to high demand. 
So you're giving them a reason for the, high, for the long, long time on delivery. And then put this item ships from our international warehouse. That will help them um, when they understand it's coming from China. So it's all about setting up an um, expectation from the customer, if you will. Okay? So um, product title, SEO title. So, uh, you know, product title. So let's put where this is. Product title, SEO title. Let me, let me put some notes here. Product title. Um, this is edited in. So go Shopify admin. Go to products and go to edit title. That's where you're going to edit that title. So you're going to go into your Shopify admin. You're going to go to products. You're going to edit the title. Okay. Um, but there's another title way on the bottom. Search engine listing preview. Edit website SEO. So for the SEO title, Shopify admin, products, edit SEO title. It's different. Bottom of product page. Okay, or bottom of the product edit page. Okay, so if you scroll whatever product you're on, doesn't really matter, you go all the way down to the bottom and there's a search engine listing preview. So let's edit this. You click edit and it's gonna open up a page title, page description, and the URL. Page title, page description, URL. Now I'm not gonna mess with this URL in case um, this student is, that has this site is actually using this for some reason, so I'm not gonna mess with the URL. But normally I would, I would actually also edit the URL. Actually I'll edit it and I just won't save it, but I'll show you how. Okay, so it shows you, it automatically shows you what, it gives you like a little highlight of the page title, what, what the actual post is right there, One Piece Beautiful Buddha Canvas. But you don't want to use this. This is how it's going to show up in Google. So you want to change this. You want to ask yourself, what might somebody be um, looking for? Let's actually look at, the, uh, let's look at the product here. Okay. One Piece Beautiful Buddha Canvas. So that, that's a good title. This is a good title here for the store. Right? That's a good title. But, um, but what I would do is I would basically change this up a little bit for the SEO title because people aren't probably looking for beautiful Buddha canvas, okay? So, you know, for SEO title, it's more like this. Buddha canvas, Buddha wall art, Buddha painting, wall art. Like, almost like this. This is like a better um, statement right there. Let's just put this one in for an example. Okay, let's put this one. Okay, Buddha painting, wall art, white marble, Buddha canvas picture, unframed. Okay, a little bit, that's still a little keyword stuff, but there's, there's the keywords of this. Okay, let's see if we can make some sense out of this though. Okay, um, and I would say something like, uh, I might even look a little bit more, see if there's anything else in the description. No, that's really all must see, beautiful Buddha wall art. Um, but that might work. Okay, so all you're looking to do is just see if you can make some sense out. So Buddha painting, wall art, white marble, Buddha canvas picture. Okay, so what I might do is I might start with, so let me cut that out. Buddha canvas picture. You don't need unframed because people probably aren't searching that. Buddha canvas picture. Um, it might be like beautiful Buddha painting. Bu Buddha wall art painting. And then what's the white marble? The white marble is, um, I'm not even sure what white marble is, to be honest. <laughs> um, shoot. Let, maybe I can look at this, this product really quick. Let me go into AliExpress and see. I don't want to give you guys a good one. So let's see if they have this product easy. Is that it? Is that the one with a little fire? Let me see really quick. Nope. It's a person giving like a little peace sign. Buddha canvas. Let me just see really quick. Where's that little Buddha at? I can't find the Buddha. I can't find it. Okay, I can't find the exact one. It looks like that's a three piece. This is a one piece. So maybe we do need to put the one piece. One piece Buddha canvas. Uh, okay, I can't find it. Um. Let me go up here really quick. Vendor. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is the product right here. This is the title it started with. So when you, so I'll actually use this. When I want to come up with an SEO title, what I'll do is I'll use this right here, and I'll make a title out of it. So we're gonna go like this. Um, 
live demo. Let's create an SEO title out of this AliExpress title. Okay, let's put let's put the link there. Let's put the link to the page. Okay, and now let's make an SEO title out of that. Okay, your SEO title uh, it needs to be a little bit more readable. Okay, Google doesn't like stacked stuffed keywords. So you want to make a readable title here. So again, I might do something like I'm gonna grab I'm gonna basically do something that's like only about like that long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do about half of this. I don't need all this. You don't need to try to go for everything in one title. Okay, so. Um, I might want to do something like okay. I'm looking at the words like printed on canvas. Um, Buddha painting wall art printed on canvas. Okay, um, picture wall art printed um, canvas painting. These are all words they use. So SEO title might be, um, let's say like Buddha. Um, I might describe actually even what it's doing. What sign is that? I don't even know what the sign is. If I knew about Buddha stuff, I would know what that sign was and I would actually um, even describe that, you know? So I would actually describe it. You might want to look down on the page to see if there's anything that, um, that they're doing or you could even look into like feedback and see if there's anything that people say about it. Excellent, wonderful, beautiful. But whatever that sign is. So again, if, I, if it were me, if I was looking for an SEO title, if I actually knew, I just don't know much about Buddhism, if I knew what that sign was, then I would um, then I would say what sign it is. I would describe, the SEO title, I would describe what the Buddha was doing and I would put that sign. Does somebody right now in the comments by chance uh, on the live stream, if anybody knows what the sign is, um, it's not marble but a picture of a marble statue so we might want to do that. Might want to use that. Does anybody, Jennifer, do you guys know what that sign is? Who's, who's Buddhist watching right now? If you guys know what the sign is, let me know. Um, Let's see, what, let's see what titles people are coming up with. Raymond says, One Piece Buddha painting wall art printed on vertical canvas. Meditating white marble Buddha painting in wall art. You guys are having fun with this. I love it. Good job. Um, but that's what I would do. I'd come up with like an SEO title here. Okay? So let's go back to the document. I don't know that I need, and for the SEO title, I don't need one piece. Okay? I really don't. I'm, look, I would cut that out. So let's kind of cut that out. There's a, too much stuff going on here. I don't think I need modern. I don't know if that's a, a that might be a big search, but I got to start. I have to figure out what, what things can I cut out. I probably don't need vertical. I probably don't need forms. Um, white marble, maybe. I probably don't need white. Um, if it's, it's a marble, uh, it's a it's a painting of a marble statue, right? So I maybe want to do that. Let's see if anybody knew what sign meditating. So the word meditating is a good word, though. I think I think I do like meditating. Um, so let's go with that one. Meditating, meditating Buddha painting. Okay, so meditating Buddha painting, and then maybe be, um, and I might want to say a keyword, just beautiful print, um, beautiful canvas print wall art of a white marble Buddha statue, okay? So something like that is like an SEO title on the spot that I would, I would do something like that. Meditating Buddha painting, beautiful <clears throat> canvas, print wall art, or, or maybe there, I might take one thing out there, beautiful canvas print. I might even just take out wall art just to kind of shorten that up a little bit. Beautiful canvas print of a white marble Buddha statue. Okay, so something like that. Meditating Buddha painting. Beautiful canvas print of a white marble Buddha statue. And then you're going to go in here to the bottom and you're going to put it here. Okay, now you've got your, your page title. Now, your meta description. See how, see how it shows what it looks like here? It's going to dot, dot, dot it after the word marble. Okay? Uh, beautiful canvas print of a, maybe I'll do even of a Buddha statue. Maybe the white marble I even take out of there. Bam. There we go. There's, a, there's one that looks good. Meditating Buddha painting, beautiful canvas print of a Buddha statue. So there's an example of an SEO term. And as you do these, you know, I, I usually do these on things I know about. Right now I'm just using this as a live example. 
And then look at how bad this is for, for Google. One piece, and it's not bad, I'm not, I'm not disrespecting the studio, I'm just saying bad in terms of this won't work. You don't need guaranteed safe, safe checkout, stuff like that. Now here is where you take all those keywords and you write it up in this, in this description here. So you would say something like, now you can write up, you know, um, get this one piece beautiful wall art canvas print of a meditating statue and then currently whatever off like retail or something like that maybe you could kind of show like how much of a deal it's going to be you know something like that so you can kind of go here and you can go okay it's 48.95 so it's currently 50% off you might want to put that in the description um where's the description right here okay currently 50% off limited stock okay now meditating buddha painting beautiful canvas print of buddha statue get this one piece beautiful wall art canvas print of a meditating buddha statue currently 50% off limited stock so what i'm essentially doing is i'm still keyword stuffing the difference is that I'm making sense of the sentence. I'm looking to organize the keywords in some sort of a sentence format so that it makes more sense. It, 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 it's constructed better than stacking keywords. It needs to read. That's your kind of whole, um, you know, that's your kind, of, it's your kind of whole thing is making this thing more readable. It'll look better in Google when it comes up. And now for this piece here, this, this one piece Buddha print on canvas, um, what I would do is I would do it like, a, I would just do it like probably like, meditating Buddha painting. I would take like just something very basic, a very short URL right there, meditating Buddha painting, meditating Buddha painting, just like that. Something very, very simple. MyBougieBoutique.com slash product slash meditating Buddha painting. Okay. Then you go up there and you press save. Okay. So now you have one piece, beautiful Buddha canvas. And again, I would probably change that to, um, I would probably change that to, here, I'll change it and I'll just change it back afterwards. Um, one piece, meditating Buddha canvas, meditating Buddha painting. And then I'll put it here. One piece, meditating Buddha painting. This wall art is a must see. Okay. Um, this beautiful wall art is a must see, okay? Now, and then you can even have more. So now what I would do is I would basically even write up a little bit longer of a description. I'm not gonna do that now, but I would write up a little bit longer of a description that sells somebody as to why. Now, when you're finding products on AliExpress, sometimes it can be harder. Like this product might be harder. Maybe there's not a lot of description here. There's not a lot to work with on this product, right? You know, um, you know it's a canvas, you know, it's a, it's a combination of, uh, it looks like it's a one piece though. You know, it's a canvas. Um, it's not framed. It's style is modern. You know, it's, it's an oil based canvas painting. Um, you know, no frame canvas only, you know, you want to, you want to like try to make this like an exciting, um, thing. So you can basically, another way to do it is you can go to Google, maybe see if anybody else has done a good job with it. So let's do site myshopify.com and then do Buddha canvas and see if there's any and, and go through and you could always see if there's any other stores that basically have done a have done a good job with product descriptions okay even if it's different every elegant custom made Buddha canvas artwork is adjusted by hand for the best possible print quality then expertly transferred to premium artistic canvas so there's an example of you know there's an example right there. So you could kind of change that up, put it in your own words and, you know, put it, put it like in here or something like that. Okay. Change it up to your own words. Every elegant custom made Buddha canvas artwork is adjusted by hand for the best possible print quality, expertly transferred to premium artistic canvas. So you start to get in, like you start to look and find what are, what are, um, you know, and then look at this only available for limited time, fast, secure worldwide shipping, 30 day money back guarantee, no hassle returns. See, and then look, this canvas is print is unframed. Um, you know, so you kind of like look and you see what other people are doing. So you can kind of learn by watching a bunch of other people. And then you can look, they got a whole bunch of them. Five piece, three piece. You can see if they're using the same exact description on these. Yep. 
Same description. The only thing it does is it says the, the description of the three things. Go down to the five piece. Um, same everything. 24 hour flash sale, 50% off. You know, so they're, and look, they're using a lot of the same stuff to be able to sell. Um, and you can go, that's all Dharma vibes. You go this one. Let's see if they're using something. Serenity is only a glance away with this inner peace Buddha painted on canvas. This classic Buddha canvas will add beauty and culture to your home or office. Perfect for holiday gifts while stock lasts. But, you know, so this is another example of, a, of you know, stuff that could be put there. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like you're starting to form, you're starting to form, um, you're starting to form a long form sales page here. You know, you start to come in here, maybe maybe italicize some stuff, one piece meditating Buddha painting, every elegant custom canvas. I would change these. I wouldn't just uh, copy, but I'm live on a webinar and I want to go, I want to go um, fast, you know. So uh, perfect for holiday gifts, while stock lasts. And then there it is. So you kind of you kind of start to see how you're kind of forming a longer form description, because this pro this product doesn't really solve problems. But um, you know you're, you're kind of you're looking for why would somebody buy this? Now the more you know about the product you're doing, see if this if this was like something I was into, I could really come up with a lot of stuff on the spot. So instead, I'm going to look and I'm going to see maybe um, like like this. A portion of all sales will give will go to Give Back Yoga Foundation. That's you, if you have something you're doing there. You can, um, you know, not sold in stores. You know, it's not. It's it's shipped online. They're not, and not sold in stores meaning you're not sold, you're not selling it in stores. You know, so you can basically just kind of keep looking and see what kind of stuff you can come up with. Um, you know, see what other people. Now you don't even have to search my Shopify. Beautiful, beautiful canvas wall art, Buddha canvas wall art. Okay, and then you go here and you like can start looking and seeing like on Amazon. You know, see kind of like if they say anything on Amazon descriptions, that would help you as well. So you can kind of see like a powerful and beautiful rendering of the face of a statue of um, Gautama Buddha, the historical Buddha, distinct from the laughing Buddha. This is the, now this, see what I'm saying? This, if you can, if you can somehow get this type of, this type of description and kind of change it up a little bit. So let's do like, let's search all products here, all departments, meditating, Buddha canvas. And let's just see if there's like even the same one or something similar, you know, whatever it might be. I mean, there's, I don't know. You'd have to find like the exact one, but, um, but you can see like these are all canvas prints, right? So you can kind of see like, go down and see, you know, what, what it might, see if there's words, see if there's anything, a perfect contemporary art painting for your bedroom, living room, kitchen, off, da, 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 da. Um, you know, like an example is um, changing that up a little bit. So again, assuming you made some changes here, um, perfect for holidays, gifts, while supplies last, while supplies last, just going and like giving an example. What you see, uh, what you get is what you see. Let's just erase that. A perfect contempor a contemporary art um, canvas for your bedroom, Living room, kitchen, office. Let's get rid of hotels since probably not your market. Dining room, um, off, uh, kitchen, office is already in there. Bathroom's probably not good, bar, etc. Bar or dining room. So you just go, or dining room. It will be, uh, it will be a unique wall decoration to decorate your space. And then it's, Kind of cut that out. So you see kind of you change it up a little bit. A perfect contemporary art canvas um, for your bedroom, living room, kitchen, office, or dining room. You're basically putting words in there that might be good, perfect for holiday gifts. Now look, this is something I don't know about, but you see how I'm kind of building out a long form description here? You're, you're literally looking for any way you can to try to sell them on this, okay? And what you're doing is you're building it out. Now, this is what the page looks like before, right? Let's get you a new one. Okay, this was the previous page here, just this description, one piece Buddha canvas. And now the new one, it looks a little bit more like this. One piece meditating Buddha painting, this beautiful wall arts must see, every elegant custom made Buddha canvas artwork, this and that. Serenity is only this, perfect contemporary for your bathroom. Uh, only available for limited time, get yours today. Buddha, Buddha painting wall art canvas unframed, guaranteed self checkout, please allow three to five weeks to do. Okay, um, 
so it's got like a lot of the details in there. So what we've done is we basically created a little bit of more of a long form um, idea. <clears throat> now the reason you want that in long form is because when you're when you're building this when you're building out your store, what people are forgetting is that your store. Let's go over here to the store to the themes. Your store is um, your store is uh, it's coming in like a theme like this, right? So your store has a, every store has a theme. So your, here's your theme, like this, this one's using the Brooklyn theme right here, right? So when every single store has a theme and you go to like the individual product pages or something like that, featured collections, wall art, when you go into these, let's go um, to this one here, one piece meditating Buddha painting, right? When you go into these, um, you have to remember that um, you have to remember people are seeing it on a small screen. So, so I'm kind of giving you like a mobile experience right now, if you will, right? People are seeing this. So free shipping for orders over $75, My Bougie Boutique. People are seeing it from their phone. So remember, this is the experience they're seeing. They're getting a little slider of a product, okay? And then they're getting the title here and then they're scrolling, add to cart. So above all this, is like basically what they're seeing. They're seeing like the different options, the price, the names. So they're seeing the pictures, the price, the options, and everything here, right? Then they're getting the description. So now they're kind of scrolling down. If, they've, if, they, if they're not ready to add it to their cart, then what you're doing is you're using the rest of this as sales material. Okay, let me try to sell you some more. So let me explain to you what it is. Let me talk about where it's good for. Let me talk about more details of it and how it's perfectly created. Now let me get in some urgency, some scarcity. Let me, get, let me give you some, some confidence building. Let me give you some details you might need. Okay, so now that's what the rest of this is to try to, to, try to do it. Now, what I would do is I would do even more here um, by adding in you know, more elements. Like obviously, how many, how many people claimed it? Um, sale ending soon, put in a countdown timer, give them a benefit if they buy more than one, not sold in stores, limited time offer, free worldwide shipping. Um, you know, these buttons, there's like a lot that you can do to, um, you know, to continue to, uh, you know, continue to do that. There's just a lot you can do. So like, literally, if I wanted to, I could come, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I could, um, you know, come in here and try to, and try to even add more, right? So let's go like, um, let's go back into products really quick. Let's go down to that Buddha, um, one piece meditating Buddha. Okay, so like, you know, you, could, you can do like a lot more. You could literally, you know, X amount claim. Let's say there was like, you know, whatever. I'm, not, I'm just going to put this in as an example. This is going to be representative of a countdown timer. This, this store, I don't, I don't know if it has one on it right now, so I'm just going to put that as a representative one because I don't want to go in here and install a countdown timer. Um, I don't want to mess with this too much. But um, then you got the quantity, the price. You got the logos, not sold in store, free worldwide shipping. So we're just gonna save this and I'm gonna go in and erase it. Okay, so now going back, let's go to another product real quick. Let's go to About Us. Let's go My Bougie Boutique, da, 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 da. Let's go to Wall Art. Let's go down to the canvas that we had. See, this is how people are scrolling on their phones. Okay. One Piece Meditating Buddha. Imagine that's like a countdown climber. 390 claimed, hurry, sale ending soon. Imagine there's a countdown timer there. You give the quantity price, you give the credit card things, not sold in store, limited time offer, free worldwide shipping, or whatever the things are, and then you get in the product description. So see, do you, do you understand how like, the first things first, people are being sold by this picture. People are very visual. Do I even like this? Okay, that's the first thing they're deciding. Do I even like this thing? Okay. After deciding if they even like the thing, then this tells them what it is and what their price is and tells them, gives them options. Okay, I do like this. I want to get it and that and I want to add to cart. But more people are going to need to be sold. So you're selling them with a little bit of social proof. You're giving them some urgency. You got a countdown timer for urgency. Maybe you can give them that they can, they can buy more. Um, you're giving them some confidence building by showing there's multiple ways they can pay and how it's secure. 
not sold in stores is gonna give, give kind of like a limitation, if you will, um, of scarcity, limited time offer. Again, scarcity, this offer of 50% is gonna go away anytime. Free worldwide shipping would give them confidence if you're offering that. Um, we're, you know, this probably isn't offering it, but if you were, this is a confidence builder. And then if that's still not enough, you know, then, then there's other things you could do here and you could keep going down and keep getting sell them. Only offer a limited time, get yours today. Guaranteed to be safe, just do this. Okay, so that's what all this description is for. Okay, let me erase, let me erase some of that stuff right there. Um, I will leave not sold in store, limited time offer, 50% off. Okay, um, I will leave that because it is a 50% offer. Um, and then uh, offer uh, subject to go away without notice at any time. Okay, something like that. You know, offer subject to go away without notice at any time. So you're, you're really just giving them like, you're just trying to, all you're trying to do is you're trying to give them like a reason to be able to, and, and you gotta remember, this is how people are seeing it. They're seeing it from their, you know, they're seeing it from their, from their phone like this. They're scrolling, they're gonna come directly to the page. You're gonna link them in directly to the page with an ad. So they're gonna come, they're gonna land on this. From Facebook or wherever you're advertising, they're gonna land right here. They came from some sort of Buddha keywords, painting keywords, art keywords. They're coming here, they're like, oh, this is cool. Half off, 48.95, not sold in stores, okay. Limited time offer, 50% off. Offer subject to go away without notice anytime. One piece meditating Buddha painting, this beautiful wall, it's must see. And then it starts selling me. This is a sales page, right? So you wanna use all these things we talked about, the urgency, the scarcity. If you go up on this document, you'll look at all things, the, the reviews, product description, testimonials. Um, you wanna use social proof, urgency, countdown timer, discount, credit card logos, scarcity, urgency, incentives, videos, all this kind of stuff. You wanna use as much as you can, as much as you can get your hands on, you wanna to use to sell. Okay, so now let's go a little bit further down. Okay, now let's get into some more notes. Should you write long detailed descriptions for every single product? Okay, this is another thing, right? Another, another big thing, so let's go here. Um, advice would be only if you have time, okay? If you don't have much time and this is a part-time uh, venture for you, then focus more on, on, you know, one to five products on your store that you are advertising and fix up those pages, okay? So answer, start with products you are directly advertising and write improved copy. That's kind of like your assignment, okay? So out of a whole store, okay, like let's say your store was this one here, Flava Gear. Out of your whole store, you might have all of these products, right? There's just all of these different products you're, you're selling. Well, maybe you're, you're not gonna be running ads to all these simultaneously. So maybe if you go look at all these, the actual thing you're running ads to, let's say is, this, is these backpacks that we talked about earlier. Then focus on this page. Give this page as much detail as you possibly can. Focus on this page, get a video, get the description, get the features, get the sizes, get testimonials, get reviews, get all this kind of stuff, right? You just, you wanna do as much as you possibly can to be able to build up this page since you're gonna be advertising to it. Now, here's, here's one of my things of advice, okay? First, start running ads to the page. Next, update title, description, copywriting um, after you place ads, okay? The reason, uh, the reason is, is because um, otherwise, you will get caught up in perfection zone without taking action, okay? That's the problem. So start running ads to, your, to the product page first. This will cause you to take action, okay? That's, so start running your ads first. Then you can always update this, like right now, like, like right now I can update this all I want, you know, going in. Now, if you're running ads, the one thing to be careful of is when you're doing a product description, if you're running ads directly to this URL, 
you know, you want to make sure you change that URL first before you start running ads to it. Because if you change it afterwards, it could run into problems. So what I would do is I would, I would, I would go look at, I would go basically, first thing I would do is I'd come in here and at the very least, I would come up with whatever the title is, meditating Buddha painting. I'd put meditating Buddha painting and press save. At least then the URL is good. And this is the URL I'm gonna advertise, right? So at the very least, make sure your URL is good before placing ads. Okay, start running ads to the product, cause you to take action. Make sure the URL in the SEO description um, is updated first, okay? Then update the title description after you place ads. Um, you can continue to tweak the page copy um, anytime you like, okay? So don't worry about that so much. Don't, don't think you have to do that first. Otherwise, you're gonna get caught up in the perfection zone without taking action. So that's my advice. Should you write long detailed descriptions for every project? Only if you have time. Otherwise, just for the ones you are advertising, okay? It's that simple, okay? It's that simple. So that's what you wanna do. Start running ads to the page, update title, description, copywriting after you place ads, and just, just get focused with action. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have these beautiful sites, you're gonna have all kinds of stuff. It's gonna be really, it's gonna be really clean. You're gonna really like it. I mean, that's, that's what you want. You wanna basically go in and you want to look for as many ways that you can develop you know, urgency, scarcity, stuff like that. I mean, there's some really good stuff. In future episodes uh, of this, we're gonna be looking at some really good, um, some really good stores, you know? I mean, I'm gonna do like, for example, a whole one on this one, Phone BB. Okay, so there it is, Phone BB. So we're gonna go into sites, to sites like this right here. And we're gonna look at, you know, product descriptions. Like, I don't know, we'll just look at this first one here. We're gonna go look at, we're gonna go look at like special promotion, selfie stick case, overstock clearance. So when you start finding good sites, look at the copy, 100% money back guarantee, fast delivery available, 99.3% reviewers recommend this product. Great product description, look at this, it's selling you. It's selling you very well. In fact, um, let me see, I can actually look at, uh, and that's actually a really cool thing we'll look at too. We'll do this in a new, in a new one, but let me really quickly, Go into, um, um, let's see if I can, let me see if I can do it really quick. I'm not much of a programmer, but okay. So here's what this site looks like on, on mobile. So if you're on mobile right here, massive clearance sale, free worldwide shipping, phone BB, this is what people will see on mobile for this. Um, they'll see the title, special promotion, selfie stick case. So look, hurry, only 19 left in stock. Okay, look, only 18 left in stock. So what they have is they have, this thing will continue to go down, 17 left in stock. So they have an app that's continuing to basically show stock is going. You only have one hour to be able to purchase this. Um, and then you go down and then you go down a little bit more. So look, then it has all of this above where it has the add to cart. Then it has the description. And then it has like, look at this, really, really selling this. They're using this as, as all this copy. See, this is long form copy. But it's really good. And then product specifications, our guarantee. And then they have a scroll to the top button right there that you can scroll up to the top. So they have basically, if you look at this, they got the pictures. They got really good. Look, only 12 left. They're really driving me to a sale right now. So there's like lots of stuff like this that you can look at and you can start to understand, um, you know, different, you can start to understand different, you know, different ways that these sites are are you know what they're doing to be able to start driving sales okay so you know okay there's all these different products that they have you know you can start to you start to review it like here's some fidget cubes you know like okay how on earth would they sell these fidget cubes you know and you can start to see it's not just an ordinary cube it has all six faces equipped with different buttons and switches so what they're doing is they're just writing it up this is not just ordinary every single side has something different that you can do if you're a fidgeter right it's specifically designed for those who can't keep their fingers still. And it doesn't matter if you're a clicker, a spinner, a flicker, or a roller. This tool suits you the best. The fidget, fidget cube is for anyone who is in stress and anxiety because this cube can help you ease the burden. So problem solution, you see? So it's basically giving you a description, problem solution. They're doing a really good job. They're showing you pictures of the different fidget cubes. So you want to learn from copywriting on other sites. Okay, you really wanna go in here and you wanna to start to learn, okay, how are they selling items? Look for an item, go through people's sites that are good, 
when you find a good site that has good descriptions, start like reverse engineering and learning from their descriptions. I mean, I've been through this site a bunch, okay? And I know like a lot of their products because I like to model after sites that are doing a good job, okay? Like, like we'll take this cascading wallet, for example, okay? It's just a basic picture. This really wouldn't sell very well as a basic picture, okay? So they have a lot of pictures, but look, they're giving you a discount if you buy more. They're giving you security. Only seven left in stock, a lot more urgency. Only six left in stock. 100% money back guarantee, fast delivery, 99.3. You see, that's the same on all their products. And then look at this. Look at this description here. And let's read it in mobile, okay? Let's read this thing in mobile. This is what it would look like in mobile. The cascading wallet is the most fun and secure wallet available. The design is machined from a single piece of aircraft grade aluminum offering you up your bank and ID cards, both physical and RFID protection. It is about the size of your credit card and only 10.3 millimeters thick. It is packed with many features such as a slider button on the bottom to eject your cards. Into so see what they're doing? They're essentially just talking about it. And the better you get at copywriting, the better. This is just an introduction to it. But they're basically saying it's gonna keep your, 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 your cards safe they're giving you a description. It's telling you all the different things you do. Eject your cards. A uniquely designed money slash business card clip on the back. Um, you know, an easily detachable accessory cover is also offered. Okay, you can carry up to seven. So this tells what you can do. These, this is the information someone would need to make a buying decision. Seven cards. And with a cover, you can, uh, an additional eight cards comfortably. You can cascade your banknotes or clip. Um, the silicone contact pads ensure that your items stay there. The anodized aircraft grade aluminum has exceptional strength to prevent damage. Um, more importantly, this secures your credit, debit, and identification cards from wireless identity theft. Now, I would actually put that up on the top, okay? I would have taken this and put this on the top. This Cascade wallet secures your credit, debit, and identification cards from wireless identity theft, okay? I would put this whole sentence here and this one. The aluminum walls act as a firewall preventing unauthorized access. I would put that up there on the top instead of the most fun. I would put that as the leading thing and I'd maybe even put it in a different font color so it dragged out. But this is what you do. You're basically, and then they've got their guarantee, same kind of thing, you know, and then, and then they've got reviews, okay? Six reviews, excellent service, this and that, really great. And then of course they've got their returns so you can actually see, um, how do I return an item? Please provide all this. Only, per, only items per tier is it gonna be accepted. Um, they returned items must be in their original packaging, including any accessories, manuals, and documentation. Non-returnable items include items purchased, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, they kind of go through their, their returns process really, really well. So they're putting in a guarantee and going through it really well. So model after sites like this, you guys. Model after sites, learn about them, learn what they're doing. This is, you know, even though it's phone, they're a general store. Look what they got here. It's phone, but look at this. Even though it's a phone store, can you see here what they're doing? They got kitchen and household. Whoops, I keep clicking the wrong things. Sorry, I'm just really doing a bad job here. That's, there we go. Kitchen and household. So even though it's a phone store, look, look what this phone store is selling, okay? The phone store is selling anti-oil splash hand cover stuff. This has nothing to do with phones but they're selling this as a quick one-off product even inside of their store. So most everybody's pet accessories, what does that have to do with phones? So see, they started as a phone store, but they're selling a lot of stuff. So listen, you guys, this is like, you can learn so much by finding successful stores, okay? You can learn so much from that, and that's the key. The key is being able to, the key is really being able to learn and model after all of this stuff if you can. Um, and that's what we wanna teach you here in the 90 day challenge. So that kind of concludes today's uh, training. Um, let me ask you guys real quick in the comments, did you guys enjoy this? Did you guys enjoy this uh, day nine training on a Sunday afternoon, on a master Sunday? I could have been watching golf, could have been hanging out in the backyard. Instead, I wanted to spend some time with you guys, helping you guys convert more sales. Um, Simeon says, totally impressed with all your knowledge. My question is, how did you get it? Um, just like you, I was a student. I get most of my um, knowledge through experience and I just take massive action on everything. Karen, how do you know if it's a successful store? I found, Karen, I found that store on Instagram. They had a video that had um, 1 million views on it. 
and it came as an, <clears throat> as an Instagram ad. So I got targeted, Karen, with an Instagram ad with a video with 1 million views. And so I basically knew that if they have, like, if a post, ha if, if you go to their fan page or whatever, and they've got a lot of likes and shares and stuff like that, I mean, we could really quickly look and see. Um, phone BB. Let's see, phone BB. We could look and see if they have, I can't even see anything here. This is probably them. I don't know if it's them or not. Um, so I can't guarantee that this is them, but it's probably them. Um, happy St. Patrick's Day. You know, so if you're, if you're researching a store, look, they have 144,000 fans. And you can scroll through and kind of see, go, go through their posts and see if they have anything that's got like a lot of engagement on it. Okay? You can go through the post this way and look. Or another way to do it is you can go through... Um, you know, they're, all these notifications are popping up too fast for me to do this, but you can go through like their photos, okay? And you can see like, you can go through these photos right here and you can hover over, see how it's got eight likes, seven, four, three, so you can go through and try to find one that's got a lot, that, that way you know if it's advertising and you can see if they've got a successful advertisement. But I found so far nothing, but I found a, um, and this is just pictures, they might have videos, we go, I would go through pictures and videos, I might have to make a tool that just does this a lot faster for you guys. Um, I'm surprised this, this might not be the right store. I'm surprised that this doesn't have much activity on these. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how I do it is, um, yeah, nothing. Okay, well anyways, I, did, I found them through um, Instagram. They're doing an amazing job with their, with their videos on Instagram. So you go to all videos, there you go. This is where they're doing their activity, look. They're not doing good with pictures, but look how they're doing with, with videos. Three million views on this. There you go. Crack the code. They're using videos. So here you go. They're using videos right here. This shows a wireless charger. Works on all Android and iOS devi devices. Um, here, let's click on here for their description. This wireless charger works on all Android and iOS devices. Get one at discount here. They got their link. Comment yes if you, if you would want one. Please like and share to your friends if they would get one. Three million views. So you know if they're paying for that many views, you know that it's got to be converting at a positive ROI. And it goes right to this top seller, wireless charging, number one top seller, wireless charging kit. So just like that, <clears throat> if, you were to, if you were to search and find stores, I showed this on another one, but it would be like this. You would go to, um, so, whoops, go to Google. And then you would go site myshopify.com and you start browsing stores on this one. We might look for like, you might be looking at a specific product, wireless charger, and then maybe you like come across a site, okay? So let's say you come across a site. Let's say the site that you came across was um, phone BB, because that would show up, let's say. Let's say that this site showed up in there and you're like, well, how do I know if this site is successful or not? On the bottom, <clears throat> you can see there, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. So you can click on Facebook and you come to their Facebook page and I, I went over here to videos. Start with videos and then pictures. I went over here to, um, oops, I, these notifications come up so fast, sorry. Go to videos and I just started looking at the number of views. 400,000, 145,000, 360,000, 3 million, 3.9 million, um, 3.7 million, so you can really see they're really doing a great job with um, videos. And then now you know they're successful, right? Because you know they're, they're able to, to do millions of views. This case makes your phone waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. All in one case at 50% off, get it here. Waterproof case for iPhones, um, currently 10 bucks. And then they got, you know, they have a nice video pre-selling it. So people are watching the video first, then they're coming to this page, and look, only three left in stock. You know, it makes you really get anxious to go buy it really quick. It's got the same kind of thing. They're, they're following the same kind of stuff for their descriptions. They're doing bolds. Um, looks like they didn't update their site though, but that happens when you're running 100 miles per hour. Um, you know, and then they, they're basically selling. You know they're selling, otherwise they wouldn't be running ads. So that's how you can identify if a store is successful is I went to videos or pictures and look, look to see if they have a lot of likes. Or I came across them just from an ad. If you see, if you ever get targeted with a, with a product ad and it's like a video that has millions of views 
or a post that has hundreds of thousands of, of shares or something, then reverse engineer that site. That's definitely well worth reverse engineering. Jennifer, isn't it better to have your social media links if you want? Learning fast, this was absolutely amazing. So much info. I, the reason I'm giving you guys so much info is I really want everybody here to just blow up Shopify. I want you guys to just explode. Um, explode, explode with this. Wingo says, I had this advertisement came up earlier with that card case too. I've checked through their Facebook page and there seems to be a lot of complaints. Yeah, but Wingo, even if there's a lot of complaints, that doesn't matter. That's, that's on them and how they run their business. But at the end of the day, they've cracked the code on how to be able to market and sell. Even a company that's doing a bad job, you can learn a lot from, okay? You can learn a lot from them because a company might be doing a really bad job in one area and an amazing job in others. Complaints just means that they need to learn how to probably run their, run their departments a little bit better, but they still not, they've cracked the code in marketing and advertising and promotion. Um, dun, 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 all right. Let's see. Michelle, I thought the SEO title has to be the same as the title and the meta description for the first two lines, so I put more keyword there. I'm not sure what you mean, but hopefully today's training helped. Um, cool. All right, looks like we've done a lot. Great content, we spent a lot of time together, no reason for me. Phone BBs running over 25 apps in their store. <laughs> Yeah, they might, you know, they might not need all those apps, but I'm just, I'm telling you guys, like I've seen a store, I've seen stores running over 50 apps. All right. Awesome. You guys. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it. We've been together for a long time. Hundreds of you still active right now live with me. So thanks for spending your time on a Sunday. You guys watch the replay, watch it over and over and over. This is how we do. We're crushing it over here. It's been my pleasure being able to share with you. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of our 90 day challenge. See you soon.